Right, Mr. Palmer here. Next video in the little series on databases. Uh, first video in the mini series within that on file organization. So this one's looking at serial files, okay? So basically the big question is where might one use a serial file? How are serial files used? And based on when you think about that, you should actually got, be able to see why, uh, what the problem is with um, serial files, okay? So um, first of all, actually think about why we need to think about file organization, right? Basically, um, if you are storing data and records, records are saved in a file, the files are created from records and then obviously they need to be organized because you want to be able to retrieve that data uh, when you need it, okay? Then different methods of organization have different advantages and so therefore they'll be used in different situations. So in this case we're looking at serial files. Serial files basically stems from the days of uh, using things like magnetic tape to store your data because basically the, you start at the beginning of the tape and you'll work your way towards the end and you can go backwards and forwards within the tape itself but you're basically retrieving data in an orderly sequence okay uh, here's another picture of a computer using a database and you can see my guy right there with a crazy beard yeah anyway so <laughs> here we go serial files basically with a serial file what we're talking about is data is stored in the order in which it arrives okay this is the only time where I'm probably going to accept you talking accept you using the word chronological okay every time data arrives it is appended to the end of the file right um, deleting a record creates a gap in a file all right and then this is the process for deleting records you copy all the records apart from those which have been filed for deletion and you replace the old file with the new if we just actually go back to the first two points and we think about data being stored in the order which it arrives and the way that data is appended to the end of the file serial files are basically um, uh, superb for use with creating transaction files because say for example through the day people are buying things from the from a supermarket okay all of those um, transactions are added to a transaction file in order of transaction and at the end of the day that will be merged with the stock file um, to generate an order for um, to, to work out what the current stock levels are in order to place orders for new stock okay so here's um, a serial file operation okay you can see I have a file called my file I have a record already stored in it record number one and as data arrives it is stored in the order in which it arrives now notice that they they are not in like the records are not arranged in numeric order of their um key field okay because they've got 1 21 22 32 45 6 12 they're just stored in order in the order in which they arrived so i said i got that file and now we basically we want to get rid of a record okay we want to get rid of that one the fifth record which has an id of 45 Remember what I said, basically we will copy over all of the records apart from the one that was marked for deletion to a new file, okay? So there I now have all of the data, obviously I'm short of one record because that was the only one that I marked for deletion. I basically then delete the old file and I rename the new one, so the new the temporary file to the file, to the original file name, okay? So I now have got a file without the uh, records that are marked for deletion. Based upon this, you can see that there's some there's a problem here basically with serial files. Okay, the first one is that uh, if I want to search for a record because there's no particular order apart from the chronological record, I basically have to start at the beginning of the file and work my way to the end. And the other problem is that um, uh, deleting files. Okay, the uh, if I want to delete a file, I basically need twice as much memory, really and truly, as the actual data file because I'm going to create a copy of the file in memory so I will simultaneously need to keep two copies of the data um, you know in RAM while I'm doing that uh, deletion process okay so uh, based upon that uh, short little video there you should be able to understand where one would use a serial file how serial files are used and the problem with a serial file as well okay thank you very much watch out for the next video on sequential files